Lately, an abundant amount of students have been searched under a suspicion of malicious activity, which has caused several suspensions and detentions. My name is Cannon, and today me and my news crew are going to be interviewing staff and students about the drug searches. Do you know what a search is? It's a search, I think, it is when somebody, like the principal, thinks you have something illegal or should not be allowed in school, and they'll pat you down and make sure you don't have it. And what provokes is something or someone thinks you have something illegal or should not be in school. Do you know how they perform searches? Um, I'm thinking is if there's a police officer or the principal and pats you down, like pats you like your pockets or something to make sure you don't have illegal substances or vapes or anything. Like I've, seen, I've been seeing a lot more people getting in trouble for vaping and all of that, but I haven't like seen, I haven't got personally affected. What are your thoughts on searches personally? I think it should be allowed if there's a police officer who's there for like the law almost to make sure it's not like you can't touch an appropriate or something. The staff gets alerted that maybe there's something at school that shouldn't be at school, whether it's drugs or a weapon um, or other types of contraband. And if there's a reason to believe that students are not safe, we try to look into it and investigate. But I have kind of either seen it happen or participated a couple times. It just depends upon the administrator, but oftentimes there are at least two staff members um, and they ask students a question, a couple questions. Sometimes we have to look in a locker or through personal belongings and that type of stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. A search in terms of being here at school, it's a process. We're trying to find something, whether it's something that's been reported by a student or a teacher. Um, it's typically related to something that shouldn't be on campus or as a result of something that's occurred. And reports can come from a student, it can come from staff, it can really come from anybody within the school building that says, hey, I saw this or this happened. Um, but we perform it just by we're in a private space with another adult um, and somewhere that the student you know isn't out in the forefront where people can't really see what's going on so as search is performed it's just a process that we go through I'm not going to go into too many details with it because it might be different for different situations mm -hmm. but honestly I think it's a valuable tool for just maintaining a safe school environment I think it also sends a message an indirect message that you know, if we have suspicions, if there is reasonable cause, if there's evidence for such searches to happen, that they are going to happen. Um, and if you're really not doing anything wrong, then you shouldn't be concerned about, about doing that. Yeah. So the searches have um, kind of affected me. It's just been kind of like really random at times, you know? You never know when they're going to happen. So a search to me is like some, someone trying to find something like for their for their own benefit or for their own like, you know, their top priority is to get all the smoking and all that out of the school. Yeah. So. Has anybody that you've known been searched lately? Um. So a couple of my friends like were searched like a couple of weeks ago, but I know um one one of my friends just got searched like three days ago, so. Yeah. I just feel like there's bigger things to be worrying about in the school and priorities just need to be met. Yeah. It seems like the struggle with the contraband on campus is finally starting to settle down. Now we can just hope that we can learn between what happened from staff and students. My name is Jackson. And my name is Cannon.